Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Bible class. I'm Holly. And I'm Jeff. All right, let's have some songs. Jesus a friend is a friend next to you. Jesus a friend, so sing along. Jesus a friend is a friend next to you. Jesus a friend, so sing. Sing a hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Alleluia. Give a high five, give a five next to you. Give a high five and sing along. Give a high five, give a five next to you. Give a high five and sing. Sing a hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Give a friend a hug, give a hug next to you. Give a friend a hug and sing along. Give a friend a hug, give a hug next to you. Give a friend a hug and sing. Sing a la 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 Praise be to God, be to God forever. Praise be to God forevermore. Praise be to God, be to God forever. Praise be to God forever. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul, not my shoe. I got peace like a river, I got peace like a river, I got peace like a river in my soul, not my shoe. I got love like the ocean, I got love like the ocean, I got love like the ocean in my soul, not my shoe. I got love like the ocean, I got love like the ocean, I got love like an ocean in my soul, not my I've got joy like a fountain, I got joy like a fountain, I got joy like a fountain in my soul, not my shoe. I got joy like a fountain, I got joy like a fountain, I got joy like a fountain in my soul, not my shoe. I got peace like a river, I got love like the ocean, I got joy like a fountain in my soul, not my shoe. I got peace like a river, I got love like an ocean, I got joy like a fountain in my soul. Not my shoe. Hope you enjoyed the singing. Now let's hear a Bible verse from Rhett. I will be reading Hebrews chapter 11 verses 23 through 27. By faith Moses' parents hid him from for three months after he was born because they saw he was no ordinary child and they were not afraid of the king's edict. But by faith Moses when he had grown up, refused to be known as the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He chose to be mistreated uh, mistreated along with the people of God rather than to enjoy the fleeing pleasures of sin. He regarded disgrace for the sake of Christ as of greater value than the treasures of Egypt. Because he was looking ahead to his reward, By faith, he left Egypt, not fearing the king's anger. He he preserved because he saw him who is invisible. All right. Thank you, Rhett, for that Bible reading. Today we're going to hear a story about Moses. Moses was one of the great leaders of the Israelite nation. God chose Moses because of his carrying qualities, and because it says in the Bible that he was special. Today we're going to learn about what happened to Moses when he was young and what caused God or how God picked him uh, at this time. So let's start with our story. Years after Joseph died, a new Pharaoh ruled Egypt. He was cruel to the Israelites because he feared they would become too powerful. He made slaves of the Israelites who suffered under the hands of the, task ma- of the taskmasters. Pharaoh also ordered that all newborn Hebrew baby boys be put to death. A Hebrew mother made a basket of reeds where she hid her newborn baby boy. She floated the basket on the Nile River and told her daughter Miriam to watch over it. Pharaoh's daughter was bathing at the river's edge when she noticed the basket floating in the bulrushes. He must be a Hebrew baby, she thought. I will raise him and call him Moses.
time passed and Moses saw how painfully the Hebrews lived under Pharaoh. One day he saw an Egyptian whip a Hebrew to death. Enraged, Moses killed the Egyptian. One of the special things about Moses is that he wanted to protect his people. God protects us in hard times. Just like our mommies and daddies keep us safe and protect us when things are hard. That's one of the things that made Moses very special to God, is how much Moses wanted to protect God's people when they lived in Egypt. Moses fled to the land of Midian. <clears throat> in Midian, Moses rested by a well. Suddenly, seven daughters of a priest came to the well to, dwell, to draw water for their sheep and goats. Soon, shepherds came to drive them away. But Moses rescued them. The daughters brought Moses home to help them tend their flocks. This is another example of how Moses wanted to help people who were in trouble. Just like in Egypt, when he was trying to protect God's people, in this moment he saw people that were being treated unjustly and he decided to help them as well. And so we see that Moses has a heart where he wants to help people. God is very pleased when he sees a heart of a servant that wants to help people. I'm sure you've been to places with your mom and daddy and seen them help other people, and that makes God very happy. We should always want to try to help people when we can. One day, Moses came upon a flaming bush, but he noticed that despite the flames, the bush wasn't really burning. Suddenly, Moses heard the voice of God, Moses, Moses, here I am, he answered. I, now, I know how cruelly my people are suffering in Egypt. I shall deliver them and bring them to a rich and fertile land. Go to the king of Egypt and rescue the Israelites. We see God choose Moses because of his heart and how he wanted to help others who were oppressed. And God's very pleased when we do that. But God also promised Moses that he would help him at this time when he went to, to Pharaoh and to try to save the Israelites from the Egypt nation. God has promised us that when we're faithful and we're obedient and we love other people the way he wants us to, that he'll also help us in those times when things seem kind of hard. Moses did struggle with trying to do this, but we're going to see in future studies where Moses went ahead did what God wanted, and God blessed him in many, many ways. Hopefully you see how important Moses is as an example for us, and hopefully you see that you want to be kind of like Moses too and try to be helpful to people and show God's love. Thank you for being in Bible class today. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for our families. Get, help us have wonderful blessings and please help us in this time of COVID and keep all of our churches and schools safe. In Jesus' name, amen.